Hi, this is Simon Chan, and welcome to my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. Members of my mastermind coaching groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis. And today's question comes out from Melbourne. Uh, one of my leaders asked me, how would you kickstart the momentum of the team after a long holiday? Okay, so yeah, holidays, whether it's Christmas, Chinese New Year, you know, Easter, um, people normally relax a little bit, it's time to get going, right? And momentum is so important, momentum is important. So, Easiest way to do it is have an event. Have an event, have a get together. That'll get people excited. And I'm gonna show you three tips how to get that momentum back, okay? The first tip is, uh, we're during the event, and the event doesn't need to be a massive, massive rally. It, it would be great, but it could also be a small uh, get together, right? Or, uh, you know, you can do a massive rally, and before the massive event, um, you do a little get together with your core group. So, three things you can do. Number one is just sharing. Right. Sharing, have you ever shared what happened to the holidays? Because this is a relationship business. You want to connect with the people better. Just don't go talk business, business, right? There's no personal touch to that. So do some sharing, get people to connect. Second thing is, you know, have people set short term goals. Say, hey, we're excited. This is what we, you know, you're the leader. Share your vision, right? Share your vision, what you want to do. And so you start off by yourself. You share your vision, share short-term goals. So, hey, in the next 90 days, this is what I plan to do. I plan to talk to how many people. I want to plan to set how many meetings. And I plan to sponsor so many people. And I plan to help duplicate so many people. You're the leader. Start sharing your vision, your goals first. Right? Don't expect them to do it because you're the leader. They'll follow your step. Right? And your goal setting, your vision will inspire others. So go there. That's the second thing you do. Have your vision. Share your vision and your short-term goals. It could be a weekly goal or the next month goal, 90-day goal. Keep it short. The third, and what you're going to do exactly after. Because you should say, hey, we're well-rested during the holiday. Let's go, 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 right? You may be tired or burnt out before. Now you're well-rested. It's time to go. The last thing is uh, accountability. Just having everyone share accountability. Have everyone share their goals, right? And we're going to hold each other accountability. Instead of the next follow-up meeting, what are we going to do? You know, um, what we plan to do. Well, maybe you want to plan to bring an extra team member, or maybe by then you'll talk to 20 new people, right? And maybe 15 will reject you, but five people will be interested, and you sign up three of them, right? Set some type of accountability the next meeting and what you plan to do so that when people go out there, they're working. They know they, you know, we met today on Sunday. By two weeks from now, I got to do this. They're working. So those are the things I'll do, especially afterwards, you guys, leader, you follow up with them, check up on them every two, three days, the, especially your leaders, the ones who are really top performers, I'll communicate with them consistently. But it seems like your question is just for the masses, right? I'll get together, meetings, meetings, teams, share stories, uh, you know, sharing, and does the facts, whatever, that's not important. Remember, facts tell stories, tell. share the stories, motivate them. And the three things we talked about, sharing, uh, setting your showing you sharing your vision, your goals, and the third thing is accountability. Set up the follow you know you know the follow up meeting for accountability. So that's wraps uh, that answers your question. Thank you for watching. This is Simon Chan, and remember we're in the profession to help others. So go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life today. God bless you all.